Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This is Sir Manny and today, this is the last part of our Pathways on Promotion series video for master teachers and head teacher. But this time, we will talk about the reclassification of position for head teacher and master teacher. Now, if you are teacher one, teacher two, or teacher three, and planning to become a head teacher and master teacher, pero wala tayong luck pagdating sa ranking, there is another option po. And this is the reclassification process or yung equivalent record form na tinatawag natin. Minsan na-encounter natin to pag, pag nagpapareclass tayo from teacher 1 to teacher 3 gamit ang ating mga MA units. But many people don't know is pwede rin natin itong gawin if you, are, if you want to become a head teacher or a master teacher. Now, in this video, we will talk about ano ba yung mga criteria, ano ba yung mga minimum requirement para makapagpareclass ka bilang isang head teacher at saka isang master teacher. Now, let's talk about muna yung ating requirement for head teachers. So, technically po, um, Ang ating ano dito, ang ating reference is the DEPED Order Number 97 Series 2011 or the Revised Guidelines on the Allocation and, and, Re and Reclassification of School Head Positions. So ayan, sabi niya dito, on allocation creation of school head positions, existing school or cluster of schools without school head positions shall be provided with head teacher and principal positions. Okay? So required po yun. Kapag yung isang school... Wala silang head teacher or principal, subject sila for the classification. Now, the allocation of positions of school head per school or cluster of schools are as follows. So, for head teacher, one head teacher, one position per school with at least six teachers. Okay, so kapag ka anim yung teacher ng isang school or anim yung isang teacher ng isang department, pwede silang, uh, or, or pito sila, pwede yung isa doon is mag-apply for the classification as head teacher. And then, one HT1 position in a cluster of at least three schools with an aggregate of at least six teachers. So, meron din kasi mga school head, um, meron din kasi mga TIC na ang hawak nila is more than one school. So, kapag, ka, kapag ka pinag-combine yung hawak nilang teachers at six yun pag um, pinag-add up, pwede rin sila magpati-class for HT1. Now, in case of far-flung areas, a cluster of schools shall be entitled to one HT position as determined by the school division superintendent. So, that is the allocation of school head positions po. Now, what are the requirements naman po, basic requirement for the classification to the desired school head positions? So, ito po yung sinusunod natin. So, for position title head teacher 1, ito po yung ating mga ano, uh, mga requirements for the classification as head teacher 1. So, at least 12 MA units in the fields of administration, supervision, leadership, or management. Okay, kailangan yung ma-ed mo, it has something to do with supervision, leadership, and management. And then, meron ka dapat 3 years teaching experience and TIC or OIC at least 1 year. Okay po? And then, 24 hours of relevant training, initiated, sanctioned, approved, recognized by DEPED, not used in the image at previous promotion. And at least very satisfactory for the, for the last 3 consecutive years or outstanding for the last 2 consecutive years. So, pasensya na po dahil gumagawa sila ng tiles. Okay? Ayan. Pero dinig nyo pa rin naman ako. Now, for head teacher to naman, um, ito, hindi ka pwedeng magpareclass. At least, ang experience mo dapat is head teacher 1 for 1 year. And then for head teacher 3, head teacher 2 for 2 years. And then meron din silang MA equivalent. Okay po? But always remember, if you are teacher 1, teacher 2, teacher 3, dapat meron kang 3 years teaching experience at nag-TIC ka for 1 year. Regardless kung T1 ka, T2, or T3. T3, wala siyang exact requirement doon. Basta 3 years teaching experience. Okay po? And then, now, for the master teacher naman, the minimum criteria is kailangan mamit natin yung criteria ng ranking ng master teacher 1 position. Why? Kasi po requirement ang ranking. So mamaya makikita nyo what are the requirements. 
So ang ating ano dito, ang ating um, reference dito is the MEC 10 1979. So dapat you are a permanent teacher, bachelor's degree for teachers or equivalent as provided in Magna Carta for public school teachers, very satisfactory performance rating for the last two rating years, and at least three years of experience in teaching T1 to T3. Regardless, hindi lang po T3 ang nagpapareklas o nagpapamaster teacher. Pwede rin po ang T1. And then at least 25 points in leadership and potential or has been a demonstration teacher on at least the district level plus 15 points in leadership and potential. So ito po yung mga criteria na kailangan nating mamit kung gusto po nating magpa, magpareklas bilang isang master teacher. Okay. Now, this is the work process on the classification of position. Maganda rin po na we are aware on the um, work process on the classification of position. Kasi para alam natin kung ano yung gagawin natin. So the first step is submit request and required documents to your division office. Yun yung una mong gagawin. Kailangan ma-submit sa division office yan. And then second, i-evaluate yan ng division office. At kapag complete siya, magpo-proceed siya sa number three. If hindi naman siya complete, babalik siya sa applicant. And then, sa number 3 naman, evaluates qualification of applicants on the basis of the criteria under department order. So, pag qualified ka, magpo-proceed siya sa number 4. If not, babalik siya sa iyo. And then, number 4, prepares and submit matrix of qualified applicants, documents, and recommendations to regional office. So, pupunta na sa region yung papel natin on the fifth step. So, i-review ulit yun ng DO ay ng, ng regional office, pag walang deficiency, i-endorse nyo yun sa DBM. Pero kapag meron siyang deficiency, babalik yan sa applicant at aayusin. Okay po? And then number 8, kapag ka-approve na ng DBM yun, ipiprepare na yung NOSCA. Okay? Kapag may NOSCA na, um, receives NOSCA copy, tas babalik yan sa division office. Kapag may NOSCA ka na, Actually, mag-i-start na yung salary mo doon um, sa, sa, sa reclass position mo. And then number 10, prepares appointment as reclassified for attestation by CSC. So, ayan na. And then magkakaroon ka na ng advanced copy of your appointment. And then right, right after that, submits copy of attested appointment to RPSU with other required documents and DO na dyan. And then magkakaroon ka na ng adjustment salary of reclassified position in the regular payroll. Pero yung pagdating ng loss ka mo, kung ano yung date doon ng iyong position, doon mag start yung pag, um, adjusted salary mo. And then submits list of reclassified position in CPOP format to DBM through RO for updating purposes. And finally, itatransmit na yung list of reclassified position sa DBM. Right now po, ito ang mga requirements for master teacher and head teacher now po, ito yung mga requirements for the head teacher and master teacher position. So, ito po yung ginagamit namin sa division office namin. But most probably, malamang kung meron mang magbabago, konti lang. Ito rin ang mga kailangan yung ihanda ng mga documents in order for you to be reclassified. So, una, meron kang copies of endorsement letter. Ang alam ko po, ang endorsement letter that dyan ay manggagaling sa um, school division superintendent. And then two copies of justification for the reclassification of position, justifying for the, of the position duly signed by the school's division superintendent. Ayan. So ito po yung sinasabi ko, copy of rank list, duly signed as certified true and correct by the ranking committee. So kung head teacher 1 cut, nagkaroon ng ranking ng HT1 at di ka nakuha, Pwede mong gamitin yung rank list na yon. Kung master teacher ka at hindi ka nakuha, pwede mo rin pong gamitin yung copy ng rank list na yon. And then, copy of transcript records, yung certified true and correct by the school. Ngayon, kung galing po kayo sa state university, kahit yung copy lang ng transcript of records nyo. Pero kung galing kayo sa mga private schools, like University of St. LaSalle, basta private school sila, kailangan nyo pong magpa-CAV sa CHED. Okay po? Kailangan nyo po ito ng CHED CAB. Pero sa mga public school like universities, ang kailangan nyo lang is transcript of records with SO and school seal. Kasi hindi po yan, um, hindi po yan makakwalify sa division pa lang kung private school ka at wala kang CHED CAB. Ginagamit din po yan for teacher 1 to 3. Okay? And then copies of PAL, manggagaling na yan sa DO. And then copy of CSC form 212. 
yung PDS po yan. Um, meron po tayong tamang format ng pag-fill up ng PDS, kailangan sundan po natin yon. And then, copy of eligibility license PRC ID, syempre yung updated. Copy of updated service record, ayan po. Copy of performance rating for the last three years incurred during present position. Limbawa, teacher, teacher Trika. Pero um, kapag hindi ka dumaan sa ranking naman, okay lang yun. And then, copy sa plate as appointment, certified through and correct by the admi administrative officer. So, ayan. Ito po manggagaling na sa DO ito. Copy sa CPAP. Sila na magpiprepare niyan. And then, copy of latest district data bulletin. Ito po, importante ito for empty positions. Kasi, hindi po per school ang bilangan kapag empty positions sa mga elementary school. Ang bilangan po dito is district. So, titingnan sa, sa, sa district kung kulang yung empty. At doon po sila mag -re class ng position. And then, copy of individual class program and general class program. Certified through and correct by the signing authorities. And then, copy of PDF, position description form. Manggagaling na po yun sa DO. And then, copies of notarized list of teachers with their item number to be handheld by the incumbent. Ayan. Um, ito po yung magiging basis kung kailangan mag class ng position. Okay? Copy of summary of performance, certified to and correct by the administrative officer. And copy of certificate of training in the school, district acquired during the present position, duly signed as certified to and correct by AO. Pero kung hindi po Tarlac City Schools Division yung inyong division, pwede po kayo makikoordinate sa inyong division office if what are the requirements. Pero sa amin po, ito yung mga requirements na kailangan ma-submit if you want to be reclassified for a master teacher or head teacher positions. Actually, nakalagay din dyan is school principals. Okay po? So guys, do not forget to like this video and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga next upload. And also, please subscribe. Bye-bye!